Hi, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2022 Panini Donruss Football. Six box, third of a case, random team break number two. All teams in, all cards ship. Big thanks to this group right here for making this happen. And there are the NFL teams right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Two and a six, eight times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Got Donald down to Nicholas. Two and a six, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Buffalo down to the Seahawks after eight. All right, Donald with the Bills, Walter with the Chargers, Dennis with the Eagles, Michael with the Jags, Scott with my Raiders, Jared with the Commanders, Nate with the Saints, Nick with the Cardinals, Scott with the Vikings, Andrew with the Rams, Tristan with the Titans, Aaron with the Patriots, Tristan with the Jets, Colton with the Ravens, Chad with the Lions, Derek with the Colts, Scott with the Panthers, Dennis with the Cowboys, Michael with the Giants, Angel with the Dolphins, Gabe with the Niners, Angel with the Browns, Michael with the Packers, David with the Buccaneers, Tristan with the Falcons, Alexander with the Texans, Derek with the Broncos, Angel with the Bears, Tim, Bengals, Jace with the Chiefs, Angel with the Steelers, and Nicholas with the Seahawks. Let's order these alphabetically by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, everyone. Well, this is a little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on a Wednesday. Random team two, the second third of the case. So Colton, you ended up with last spot mojo and Ravens. 70% of the time, last bottom mojo hits 100% of the time, allegedly. So we've got six boxes on the left and right side. We're gonna roll the die and see what we're gonna do. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Two, left side right here. And this side we will save for next time. Which will be Random team break number three, which is on the site right now. Still tons of spots left on that one. There's like 28 spots left. All right, good luck everybody. We're looking for an autograph, one autograph, one memorabilia card per box on average. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, they are, James. This is this is the. I think this is the f f the full strength Lakers squad right here. Kind of a must win game. The Pelicans are ahead of them in the standings, so they got to beat them. Still a lot of time left. Seven fifty left, but they're up one hundred one to eighty four. This is what the Lakers need to do: play some defense, be efficient on offense. They got some uh, willing rebounders, some outside shooters. Kind of balances out the team really well. So the one thing they don't have, though, is then a shooter with a three. One thing they don't have, unfortunately, is time. <laughs> Not too many games left. There's, there's, it's already already passed the all All Star breaks coming up. So this is their last game before the All Star break. And then, what, 24 games left? 23 games left in the season? There are not too many games back of a play-in or even a, a non-play-in playoff spot, but there's all too many teams to leapfrog, so they gotta, they got to work on that. No, sorry, Nick. 
Cardinals not not a not a good draw, but hey, if we get like a a Kyler Murray one of one or something like that. DeAndre Hopkins one of one or a, something like that, you know, then That's kind of what we're what we're hoping for. I mean, they must have like a downtown card or something like that, right? So Maybe maybe a Kyler Murray downtown, something to look at. Jelani Woods to five hundred. And a Justin Jefferson. 67 out of 99. Vikings. Scott with the Vikings. Highlights autograph. Jefferson Snag scoring grab in week 15. Well, there are Super Bowl downtowns, but in the first third of the case, we did see a, uh, a Micah Parsons Cowboys downtown. Could be other non Super Bowl downtowns in these next boxes. I mean, yeah, this is going to be like a 40 minute break, so if you're not feeling it, you know, obviously you don't have to watch. You can watch the, the recap at the end of this video that I'll do when I, after I upload it. Passing the torch, Marshall Falk to Jonathan Taylor, 129 out of 199. That'll be for Derek in the Blue Horseshoes. Some more top loaders here. Yeah, James, I agree. They never should have traded for Westbrook. What was that original deal? It was like Miles Turner and Buddy Heald? I feel like that would have been a lot more productive. Logan Thomas, three out of 25, die cut for Jared and the Commanders. Dominators, Patrick Mahomes. It's pretty good. Box one down. Oh yeah, Gabe, that's a good draw. You got the Niners. Cross your finger for some Brock, Brock Lobsters.
Wow. This is a family show, G Lo. This message is held for review. Even even YouTube knows. Next to box, good luck. It's Drake London, Devin Lloyd to 75 die cut. And a Kenny Pickett, rated rookie card. Steelers, that'll be for Angel for the Steelers. Travis Kelsey. No name variation for Khalil Mack. All card ship, of course. Boston Knox, 51 out of 88 for the Bills. Donald. Trayvon Walker to 49, rated rookie autograph. That's for Michael Gallucci and the Jags. Nice. Are the pieces falling into place for the Jacksonville Jaguars, ladies and gentlemen? Kind of feels like it, right? They got some good coaching in place. They got an edge rusher. They got some pass catchers. They got a playmaker in uh, Travis Etienne. They get another good good draft going. Christian Kirk turned out to have a nice season. Here's Canton Kings, Eric Dickerson, 65 out of 139. Show up on local sports talk radio every once in a while. Goes to Andrew and the Rams. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Out of Clinton Portis, 177 out of 399 for Jared and the Commanders. Derek Singley Jr., rated rookie to 150. Alexander with the Texans. All right, next box.
right, another box. Marquise Brown. There's Brian Robson Jr., tough guy Brian Robson Jr. Jared with the Commanders. It's John Mechie, rookie phenom, jersey and autograph 56 out of 99. For the Texans, that's going to go to Alexander. Got a Kenny Pickett. Steelers, on hell with the Steelers. Press proof. Got an Anthony Barr, 49 out of 50. Scott with the Vikings. Is that Aaron Rodgers? He's going on his his retreat soon. He's gonna figure things out. See what he wants to do in life. Speaking of Aaron Rodgers, there he is, all pro kings. What are you gonna do, Aaron? 274 out of 299. What do you think happens with Aaron Rodgers? I know this is probably over covered on a in the sports media landscape, but I don't feel like we haven't really delved into it. Does he does he get traded? Do they move on? Does he retire? It's Kenneth Gainwell, 009 at 264. All right, we are halfway through this third of a case break. Three more boxes to go. He needs to retire, says Gilo. I feel like after all this like hubbub, I feel like he's just gonna go and play for the Packers for one more season and then retire. You know, or say that it's his like his retirement tour or something like that. Yeah, Nick. Keep those fingers crossed. Let's see if we can get that downtown. Grant, Joe, I'm missing something. Series one case breaks. Aaron Rodgers follows follows far. Does the Vikings for two years? But then the what, Jets for a season. I don't understand your question, Grant.
baseball series. Don't see them on the website because we sold them out. Sold out. And if you take a look at our break schedule, you can see, that's why we do the schedule. You can see what we've done, what we're doing currently, and what we're going to do. You'll see that the Series 1, we all did towards the beginning of the day. Yeah, me too, Jim. Although I had some help today, so it wasn't wasn't that bad. That was Kirk Cousins, speaking of Minnesota, to 372. It's for Scott. Yay, Lakers win, 121-02. Nice, good job, guys. It's a good feeling going to the All-Star break. Here's another uh, Packers. This time it's A.J. Dillon. Jersey Kings, two-color patch. 44 out of 100. It's going to go to, it's another one for Michael Gallucci and Green Bay. Scott Hansen, fans of the game, will randomize that to one person in the break, along with any other non-team uh, cards. And Amon Ross St. Brown is your autograph. 9 out of 99. St. Brown walks it off for the Lions. Remember that? That's Chad Tucker with Detroit. Yeah, Chilo doesn't want to see Trey Lance. He got randomized the Niners. He wants to see the Brock party. The Brock Lobster. School of Brock. For those about to Brock, we salute you. Yeah, that is a pretty random one, right? Scott Hansen does uh, does red zone, right? Do we break full cases here? Yes. Most of the time, it's full cases. Scott Hansen, not to be confused with Chris Hansen, who catches predators. Scott Hansen catches highlights, right? Yeah, NFL Red Zone channel. I feel like he gets a lot of heat every time there's like a close game, and then and then they and then the he tells people to go to 
their local CBS network, but or or Fox network, and then uh, and then like it's blacked out in your region, and then he just gets destroyed on Twitter. This game was so close. Why would you tell us to go here when the game's not even on? But it's like just not on in their region. Do we ever do upper deck product? We do. The cup, yeah, the cup's allegedly supposed to come out. 2020, 2021 cup hockey is allegedly supposed to come out, so. There's Mac Jones, Jersey Kings. 45 out of 100. I think so too, Gilo. I was just hanging out with my buddy who was a producer for the NFL Network and I was like, do you think, think maybe do a little red zone in the fall? There's DeForest Buckner, orange, to 99. That would be pretty chaotic. <laughs> yeah, Nick, and this is not a bad job either. It's probably less stressful than red zone. Uh, Gilo, Gabe, didn't you call Sky Moore getting a touchdown like a week before the Super Bowl? I feel like... I feel like Gilo made that made that call. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a whole thing, Rex. You have to there's contracts to be signed, there's appearance fees, there's all that sort of stuff. You just can't just stick me in front of a camera. Oh, you said he gets three. It was a good prop though. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that Sky Moore was like had to be like plus two thousand anytime touchdown or something crazy like that. There's uh, Dulcich to five hundred and here is a Tyrion Davis Price autograph. Sixty one out of one ninety nine. Not the auto that that G -Lo is looking for, but but still Niners on the board. Thanks for getting in, Gabe. Chuck Norris, there he is, fan of the game. Dallas Cowboys. You think Chuck Norris really is a fan of the Dallas Cowboys, or are they just saying that because he was in Walker, Texas Ranger? All right, final box coming up.
Yeah, we should fact check these fans of the game. Are they really fans? What was the, what's some of the other fans of the game? I, I think Mark Wahlberg, Patriots, was one. I guess that's pretty obvious. I mean, I would imagine that that there has to be some approval process where they just can't put random celebrities in here without some kind of agreement. So they're just like, hey, Chuck, or more like Chuck Norris's manager, is it all right if we put Chuck Norris in here and say he's a fan of the game for the Cowboys? And they're like, sure, how much, how much are you going to pay us? X dollars. And like, okay, that's, that's an agreeable amount. Let's do it. Yeah, Nick, you think it's just Walker, Texas Ranger, and then there's like, listen, we'll just pay you? It's like, well, Mr. Norris is actually an old Houston Oilers fan. <laughs> Mr. Norris actually likes the uh, New York football giants. But if you're going to pay us, you know, however much they pay you for this, then we'll take it. On Haskins to 100, Titans, Tristan. And reach for the sky. Three out of 99. Sky Moore. There's a snake in my boot. Wilson! Well, oh, that's a different character. Sky Moore, Chiefs. That's going to go to Jace. Caught a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Is a Super Bowl champion, Sky Moore. Right, yeah, Chuck Norris, probably a Texans fan. What, Walker, Texas Rangers on your TV now, Nick saying? I feel like that was a fun show. I don't watch too much TV, but whenever it's on in the background, I'm like doing chores or whatever. I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty entertaining. Chuck Norris just solving crimes and kicking butt. Sony Michelle, kind of a slightly older Chuck Norris too. 64 out of 75. Oh, 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 you're, you're saying, snake him, but you're, you're saying you're what? Toy Story or something. Someone's poisoned the watering hole. It's a good movie. Toy Story's great. Malik Willis going to Tristan and the Titans. We got T Law, Jersey Kings, to $3.99. For Jacksonville, that'll be for Michael. Remember Renegades? Yeah, I feel like that was on the USA Network a lot. Who was the Who was the main dude in Renegade? He had a uh, He had a uh, long dark hair, kind of stringy. There's Logan Thomas to 199. Jared with that one. He had a motorcycle. Who was just we would ride like a big chopper with the handlebars up to here. And had a shotgun. Right? Is that am I thinking of the right show? <laughs> see, there's Mark Wahlberg. I guess he is a fan of the game. I 
I may have seen probably <laughs> a quarter of, uh, of a dozen episodes of that show, a dozen different episodes of that show. Uh, Lorenzo Lamos was his name? What did, he, what did he do? Was he just, was he sort of a drifter that went from city to city and solved crimes? Did he solve crimes? He wasn't committing crimes. What, the, what was the premise of that show? The world may never know. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was your six box random team two break. Let's see where Scott Hansen goes. Let's go back to the list right here. We got Nick down to Jared. New dice, new list. Name on top. Gets uh, the fans of the game card after 11 times. Five and a six. Was he a bounty hunter? That makes sense. And eleven and final ten. He's still got a shot at that fan to the game card, Nick Anderson. No, you do you're in spot ten. Sorry, man. Appreciate you trying though. Um, little consolation prize for Nicholas. I don't think I called your number very often, Nicholas, in this break, but poor Nick's in this one, but I appreciate everybody trying. Scott Hansen going your way, Losis, and uh, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Final third of the case in the store. Check it out. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.